What's up everybody and welcome to another episode of upcoming mods for Fallout 4. This is a series where I show you guys some currently work in progress mods by different mod authors in the community. I've been posting this pretty often lately because I think a lot of people coming home for summer, whether in high school or now in college, do spend a lot more time updating and working on their mods, so we've been getting more content as a result. In addition, who knows, maybe now that Bethesda introduced Creation Club, we're going to see more high quality mods coming out because the possibility of revenue is very real. Regardless, again, we have a pretty good lineup this time, some updates to existing mods, some mods you've never seen before, and one that's actually a bit different and something I've never done before in the series. So without further ado, we'll just jump right into it. So starting things off, we have another update to the Gundam mod. This is something I did show you a little bit ago now. It looks like it's aiming to add in a bunch of different Gundam armors in the form of power armors. This including a ton of custom weapons, suits, and I think custom power armor frames. I don't know too much about Gundam, but you can definitely see that these look pretty cool. He does say the names of these are GP02 and Perfect Strike. And one thing I feel like this mod author is getting really right is the implementation into Fallout 4. So often we see with these kind of weirder power armor mixes, they just look a little wild wonky in game. Despite these power armors being much larger than usual, I feel like they still fit in pretty well and even though the theme and color aspects and all that is very different, it doesn't look so out of place that it doesn't fit into the game. All around I think these look really cool, it's definitely pretty promising and different from anything we have right now. So we actually have a settlement mod, this is going to be called Port Royal. It's actually a mod that was just released, but I had it in this video and I probably won't cover it in any other series, so I figure why not cover it here. So yes, this is upcoming mods, but this one you could actually download. As you can see, it's going to add in this really cool new settlement that you can implement into your game. It is a very large settlement that has a lot of required mods, so if you do want to use it, you're going to have a lot of other things you're going to have to download also, unless you already have them. But all around, it looks extremely different from anything we have right now. This is a great mod to just download into your game, have one really cool area, set up shop there and not have to worry too much about building yourself, but just more worry about populating. Again, I don't think anything like these docks we do see has been created in Fallout 4 thus far, at least not to my knowledge and to this level. It's definitely something very different and honestly it looks very cool. Imagine after going taking down a bunch of enemies returning to this area, it's going to feel pretty awesome, especially if you like the pirate and this kind of era of stuff in general. You could obviously have a pirate character or something like that and I think that would go really good with this theme, maybe you roleplay or whatever it is. Again, a really cool mod that deserves some attention. So we have some awesome animations for the 45 Auto Pistol by Hitman47101. The 45 Auto Pistol is originally by Deadpool2099. It's another mod that is released. This seems like it's going to be an update for it going forward. And obviously the fundamental thing you do notice is you're holding it with one hand. I think this looks pretty cool and pretty badass. Obviously this is going to make it stand out from a lot of the other pistols right now. In addition, it almost looks like the recoil is larger. It doesn't seem like it is held as steady after each shot, like the gun flies towards you a bit more. Maybe I'm just seeing things, but that definitely looks like it is a thing, which would make sense if you're only holding it with one hand. Again, I think these animations look really solid. This is a mod author or animator that has really proved himself in the past, and this is only furthering that idea. One thing I would personally really like to see in the future is like someone holding it a bit sideways, almost like gangster style. If you do follow firearms in real life, you do know that firing a pistol a little bit sideways is the proper way when holding it one hand in order to reduce the recoil as much as possible, yet I haven't really seen anyone take that on in Fallout, and again, it's just something I I would personally like to see going forward because it is what would make the most sense in reality. So we have a pretty interesting weapon. This is going to be the Rising or Raising M50 slash M55. The M50 is the one with the full stock. The M55 does have the folding stock and actually the M60 does have semi-automatic capabilities. But regardless, this is going to be a fully automatic submachine gun unless that's the M60, but I don't think he's actually making the M60. I think mean, this is pretty interesting because it looks like a kind of assault rifle or carbine or something like that. It doesn't look like something meant for shorter range. And honestly, I'm just interested to see how this performs in game. It looks very different than a lot of the other weapon mods we have right now. I feel like I say that so often in this series, but it definitely applies to this one. SMG mods are pretty scarce in Fallout 4 in general, but I also feel like it's kind of cool because the ones we do have are a bit more unique. They feel a bit more special than the 9,000 assault rifles we have that are on the AR platform. All around again, this mod does look extremely high quality. There's a ton of images here of all the scope, stock, some of the earlier work in progress ones and later ones. You could really see the contrast and progress that has been made on this weapon. And honestly, this just looks like something I'm going to really enjoy using. Some of the newest and final images of this look extremely promising and everything just looks such high detail. 
So we actually have a new Power Armor mod by Toomba Jamba. This is a mod author that made a ton of content for Fallout 4 right around when it was released, including the Spartan Power Armor, as well as I believe the Combat Power Armor. But he actually took a break. I don't know if he had work or just some other personal things, but again, he is now back making Power Armor again, and he does have these real cool images of what looks like a totally new set. As you can see, it kind of looks like a Liberty Prime crossed with a synth, and maybe even a bit bulkier than the usual Power Armors we have. That is a trend you've seen with his previous Power Armors, they always tend to be a bit larger and of course it has that big ass machine gun turret or rocket launcher on his shoulder. I looked through all the comments on all the different images and it is not confirmed whether or not you can use that. In addition it does seem like there is going to be a black variant. It's kind of dark and nighttime during this but it does seem like there's going to be a black variant with a different mask as well as it almost looks like there's a glass enclosure around the helmet in some of these images which is pretty interesting. I'm curious as to how that's going to work but all around it's really cool looking. I'm definitely happy to see Tomb Jamba back in modding. I know he was gone for a while and he really was one of the best power armor mod authors for a while there. That's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this video. Let me know in the comments down below which of these were your favorite. Personally, I'm quite excited for the rising M50 or M55. I just thought that looked the coolest out of the bunch and I just think it looks like a mod that I'll personally find myself using quite a bit. As always again, and thank you guys for watching. I do hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you all next time. Later!